let your voice be heard in the spirit every attack of the enemy every attack of the enemy over our father and his family we pray that Lord may you redeem them may you deliver them O God may you save them O God from every attack whatsoever in the mighty name of Jesus loose them right now loose them right now for you reveal to redeem 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 oh God let every attack let every satanic gathering that has gone on in the spirit against our father and his family let it be loose right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus let them scatter let them be put asunder in the name of Jesus let their purpose not stand let their will not prevail in the mighty name of Jesus we pray oh God that your mighty hand will rest upon our father and his family oh God his children and grandchildren in the mighty name of Jesus thank you Lord we want to pray for them again but this is what I'm seeing I don't know but I'm seeing a lady standing on his right and I'm hearing a name like is it melody or something I don't know in the spiritual realm daddy please is there anyone like that is there anyone like that please that is the daughter-in-law daughter-in-law so that means that she's married to the son thank you Holy Spirit in the spiritual realm I'm seeing a gathering and that gathering is a sign there is I, I, I saw that something has been released and that which has been released is bringing so many evils and negativities and I'm seeing in the spirit that even that lady is about to be attacked seriously thank you Holy Spirit Ibradosa. I'm seeing a man and the man is like I don't know but I see muscles all over him I see muscles all over that, that particular man I don't know whether he is the husband to that lady we are talking about uh -huh. thank you Holy Spirit we are praying in Jesus name please let's hold hands we are praying we are agreeing in prayer for the family that this evil will not prevail in the name of Jesus Christ that daddy will be delivered that mommy will be delivered that that the in-law will be delivered that the son will be delivered that every other person in the family in the name of Jesus will be delivered lift up prayer right now the Bible says that for this cause Christ was revealed that he would destroy the works of the enemy we are praying in Jesus name that let the works of the enemy be destroyed let the works of the enemy be destroyed and David said let God arise let God arise let God arise let God arise and let every enemy be scattered lift up prayer right now that the Lord will arise for this family that every attacks whatsoever every attacks whatsoever every attacks whatsoever will be destroyed and broken in the name of Jesus because the enemy wants to shatter the roots of this family but we are lifting up prayer that God will shatter the roots of the enemy against this family in the name of Jesus, he mados came and do attire, he pralos came and da higher, he talentos he and da higher. Wherever this attack is coming from, we reverse it, we reverse it, we reverse it. We command it to go back, we command it to return, we command it to return, we command it to return. Let it return, let it return by the word of God and by the blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus, let every attack from the pit of hell against this family return. Let it 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 return. And because you have revealed, we are assured by your word that you will redeem. And we know that as we have stood in the gap and lifted up prayers, you have redeemed. In the 
name of Jesus. We declare that this attack will be reversed in the name of Jesus Christ. And we demand by the power of the Holy Ghost that your presence will continue to abide with the family and every member of the family in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord is telling me that I'm building a hedge of protection around your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm hearing in my spirit, he said, after today, when they gather together against you and your family, they shall be broken into pieces. When they speak their word, it shall not happen because I, the Lord, will be with you and I will stand with you. Say yes, the Lord, I will not permit your disgrace. I will not allow your disappointment. In the mighty name of Jesus, I see a great revival is coming into the family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm seeing the outstretched arm of the Lord upon the family right now. And I see the hand of the Lord is touching people and touching souls and touching people and touching members in the family. And I see in the spirit that God is delivering them from every shackles and every attacks of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord is saying to tell you, you will not be disgraced and you will not be disappointed. From today, you and your family are protected. Your lives are preserved. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's celebrate Jesus with our hands. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want us to take a minute and pray for the church. We want to pray for the church. We are praying that this message of transformation will be seen in every department of the church, in every area of the church, that the will of God for growth, both spiritual growth and numerical growth shall take over the ministry. Lift your voice right now in the next one minute. Let's pray for the next 60 seconds right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray by the power of the Holy Ghost that you would touch your church. You will have your way in your church. That your will for your church will prevail. That your will for your church will God will stand. For you have said and declared that you will build your church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. We pray, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. that you will cause yes, a spirit yes, in every department in of this ministry. Jesus. You will cause Shana. a spirit. You will ba, 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 cause a revival in every part of this ministry. Every department of this ministry in the name of Jesus. That every assignment of the enemy will never prevail. That the gates of hell shall not prevail against this ministry. In the name of Jesus. Have your way, O God. Grow your church, O God. Lift your church, O God. Increase your church, O God. Build your church, O God. In the name of Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. In your church. In your church. In your church. In the name of Jesus. The church is the apple of God's eye. We want to pray right now in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. That every devices of the enemy Jesus. against this ministry. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every forces from the pit of yes, hell. Lord. Every Lord. Yes, Lord. Agents. Yes. That the enemy dwells on. Jesus. <laughs> Oh my God. Mo you, da 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 da. Every agent, Jesus. my eyes are open now. Yes. Every agent yes. that the enemy dwells on Karosa. against this ministry, yes. wherever they may be, yes. wherever they might have gathered, Jesus. wherever they find themselves, Jesus. may the fire of the Holy Ghost fire. visit them right now. now. In the name of, the Jesus. Name of Jesus. Please lift your voice right now. Ba -da -ba 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 In the name of Jesus. For the next one minute, lift your voice. For the church of Christ, for the church is you and I, Ecclesia, the coming out of the God that was, lift your voice, lift your voice, lift your voice, lift your voice, we pray for your church, we pray for your church, we pray for your church, and may you deliver your church from every 
Amalgamate our forces as yes, God's Lord, children in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. And we declare yes. that the enemy will never have his way Hallelujah. in this ministry. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As the Bible has declared that as we are the church, yes. let it be, O oh God, yes. that there will be transformation, transformation on every area of our life. In, in our marriages, yes, Lord. in our health, yes, Lord. in our finances, yes, Lord. in our ministry, yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus. In in our careers, yes. in our destiny, yes. in the name of in the Jesus. Name of Jesus. And Shadow. now we declare yes, that every agent, mm. be it a man or a woman, a child or an adult, yes. that the enemy dwells on mm. to do what he wants to do among God's people. Jesus. May the Holy Ghost arrest them. Arrest them now. And may the Holy Ghost disgrace them. Disgrace them now. May the Holy Ghost arrest them. Arrest them. And may Jesus the Holy Ghost disgrace them. Disgrace them. disgrace them in Jesus' name. May the Holy name. Ghost arrest them. Arrest them And may the Holy name. Ghost disgrace them. Disgrace them in the name in of the Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wherever they are. Yes, Lord. In this community. Yes, Lord. Wherever they find themselves. Jesus. In this area. Jesus. Wherever they are. Jesus. In Minnesota. Jesus. And Minneapolis. Jesus. Wherever they are. Jesus. We declare. Yes, Lord. May the Holy Ghost arrest them. Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we give you glory. Yes, Lord. That there is none like you. Yes, Lord. And whatever you set out to do, yes, Lord. nothing becomes a limitation. Guru, shut up. We thank you, O oh God, you, God, that you've always had your way yes, in your Lord. church. Yes, Lord. In the mighty, in the name, the of mighty name of Jesus. We give you glory. We give you glory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Shout your loudest amen. Amen. Clap your hands and celebrate Jesus. Amen. Let's celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to Jesus. Before I sit down, I want to encourage us for the Mondays and Thursdays. Prayer hour, the Doxa prayer hour. Please do all to join us. It's from 6 till 8. Uh, and uh, Pastor Solomon lifted a song after the worship session. He said, the battle is the Lord's. And we win this battle on our knees. That means that we win the battle through prayer. Hallelujah. Mondays and Thursdays, please do well to join us in the evening. God has started something and he will continue. God bless you. Let's welcome Pastor Michael to please bless us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. So as Pastor Solomon was, as was ministering, it just kept coming back to me and coming back to me and coming back to me. He talked about the solution. Amen. So I want everybody, if, you, if we could all just stand up, and I want you to declare something verbally. And I, when you declare it, I want you to declare it as though you're speaking to your child that you want them to do something. That's the authority that I need you to speak this. And it's very simple. And I just need you to say, I am. Okay, that, that was okay, but we're going to do better. I am the solution. I am the solution. I am the solution. See, now let me just explain to you what you just said. Let me just explain to you what you just declared. You just declared that any place that you go where there's a problem, you have the answer. You just took authority over the land to say, I am going to be placed in the right place, in the right spot with the right answer. And you put a demand on heaven that heaven would guard you with the answer to the issues so that Christ can be introduced 
Amen. Let us look to heaven. Father, we thank you, God, for this time. We thank you, God, for this moment, oh God, that you've given unto us. And we thank you for such a dynamic, transformative word, oh God. Continue to transfer us, oh God, but start with our mind, God. Change the way we think. Change the way we speak. Change the way we think about ourselves concerning what you've already said, oh God. And we give you glory. We declare and we decree that we are the solution. In the name of your son, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. One moment before you leave. As, as he was saying that, what I saw is God is the solution, and we are the link to that solution. And as you know, I have taught you one, two, three. One, pray for a stranger a day. Is there a chair next to you that's empty? If there is a chair that is next to you that's empty and you're praying for one person a day, all you have to do is say to that person, would you come with me to church? You see, explosions happen one person at a time. Now just imagine, look around. What if there were just twice as many people here and half of them are new and being ministered to and being released from their bondage? 